It's day 10. Scenic Eclipse is sailing south down the coast of Central America. On the bridge, Navigation Officer Georgina is leading the nightly watch. I stand a navigational watch, so I'm on the bridge making sure the ship gets from A to B safely and that we don't hit anything on the way. We're heading to Puerto Quetzal in Guatemala for a 7 o'clock pilot tomorrow morning, and then we'll be alongside by 8 o'clock. The nightly watch on Scenic Eclipse is made up of a team of two, with an officer and a spotter. I like the route planning side of it, the um, problem solving, trying to work out how we can get to places. I quite like the mathematical aspect as well. It's been a very nice quiet watch tonight, so weather's very nice. So Sunny, we've got a target on the radar. It's quite small, it's about four points to starboard at about four miles at the moment. It looks like it's going to cross our track um, quite close. I come in one, you can see the blue here is the trail behind it, where it's going, and then the green is the tracking aid that we're using to keep an eye on it. So we'll monitor it, look out for it, and then we'll look at taking action if it's going to be a collision risk. With some quick mathematics, Georgina is able to update the route of scenic eclipse in real time to position them well clear of the small fishing boat. Sanu, it looks like it's going to pass well astern of us. So it should be well clear. Hello, good, thank you, how are you? It's 8 p.m. Georgina heads off to get some rest before her next night watch shift starting at 4 a.m. At the scenic lounge bar on deck three, guests Roy and Betsy from California are just beginning their night. Little do they know, but Jason, Scenic Eclipse's expedition operations director, has a surprise for them. I was speaking to one of our guests, Roy. He was explaining they had their honeymoon dozens of years ago in Costa Rica, and they hiked a volcano. Oh, hey, Jason. How are you? Good. How are you? Good to see you. Hey, hey Betsy. I heard how much you guys love to hike, and so I made special arrangements for us to go privately up the volcano. You're kidding. On the hike. You're taking now. us on a private hike. Oh, my God. If you allow me. I would love it. OK. That is so sweet. I will see you at 745. Right. All right. This is, uh, All right. Thank you. Awesome. We'll see you in the morning. Right, Jason, oh, me thank too. Thank you so much. Oh, I no. appreciate it. My pleasure. Yeah, way to go. Right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Scenic Eclipse is sailing towards Puerto Quetzal in Guatemala. Navigation officer Georgina is two hours into her watch, and she's discovered a slight problem. Oh, is everything, Georgina? Uh, yes, good. Looking we good? are only going to have one bow thruster this morning, though. OK. Um, we've got the control issues again on bow thruster one. Um, OK, for the starboard one? Yeah, I think it's been up. Um, okay. Had a look, he's now gone down to look at spare parts. Well, at least we have one, and we have enough with one hand. Yeah. We have two bow thrusters on the uh, scenic eclipse, and they are extremely powerful. Basically, we don't need to. 90% uh, of the time, we just need one. But in some op uh, operations, and particularly in polar regions, it's a place where there's a lot of wind. And when we are in Antarctica, and we position the ship between the ice, we need the second one to work perfectly. Specially engineered for remote polar regions, Scenic Eclipse is fitted with multiple redundancy systems to maximize the safety of guests and crew at all times. Known as the Safe Return to Port System, in case of an emergency in either of the engine rooms, the ship is designed to be able to operate smoothly with only 50% of its electrical generation capacity. The captain can immediately cut off the affected engine room from the switchboard and continue to have enough power for the propulsion system and hotel consumables like lights and bathrooms. Hello, captain. How are you? Good it's incredible. Do you see the volcano, everything on the top over there? You can see the smoke uh, just coming up. Yeah, folks. Jason, do you know which ones are the, the volcanoes here? Are they? Is it one of the ones that you're going to discover today? Yeah, those clouds that you see on the peaks, that's actually called the cloud forest. And that's where we find a lot of the monkeys and other wildlife. So I'm really excited, yeah. 
The Pacaya Volcano, south of Guatemala City, is one of the most active volcanoes in all of Central America, with mild eruptions almost every day for the past 50 years. At over 8,300 feet above sea level, Jason is leading guests Roy and Betsy on a private hike to the crater. We are hiking a volcano in Guatemala. I've wanted to hike a volcano forever, and this is, uh, we did once, actually, when uh, we were on our honeymoon we on in our Costa honeymoon. Rica about, you know, 24 years ago, and now we're doing it again. It's getting situated here. Thanks, good. Okay, here we go. After you. All right, honey, I'll, I'll okay. hold your hand. I've never been to Guatemala before, and that's the exciting part for me is being somewhere new I haven't been to and exploring right into the mountains, which is actually, you know, for me, my backyard. A little fun fact is in nature, the pine needles mm -hmm. from the pine trees, from the conifers, is the highest richness of vitamin C you can get. Is that right? Look, this is my Bear Grylls dream, <laughs> and, and you are my Bear Grylls. I don't know if I'd survive like you would, but. It's just the little tricks. I'd be more into the wild. I'd be that right. guy. <laughs> I'd be that guy. <laughs> Remember your rest steps if you need them. OK. Helps yeah. keep your um, breathing down. Yeah. It's a grub. It's a grub? Yeah, it's good protein. Oh, he's so sweet. So he's just in his defensive mode, but and now you, he's and, and if you're starving, you could eat that, huh? What do they say? It tastes like chicken. Yeah, that's what right? they say about everything. And right. I, I never believe them. Exactly. Let's go put him back right. with his buddy. Wow. So they're not alone. Wow, you're the mountain man. <laughs> it's tough going, and the risk of losing one's footing is ever present. I found Hold it. on a second. I found this. Hold on, Holly. Just hang Betsy on slips. Oh. Sorry, I was in a letter check. The top of the volcano is in sight. The route is getting harder. Push with the stick. It, it's very um, long, though. Can you do it? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I was in the literature. Kind of... yeah. Woo! A little rubbery. Yeah. These last steps. Uh -oh. Oops, careful. Come over here. Oh, OK, flatness is good. All right. Oh, careful. Oh, OK. Oh, look at this. We're all the top. Wow. Woo! Oh, my god. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, it's fabulous! Congratulations! It was difficult, but absolutely worth every yeah. moment. Yeah. There's another group over there that came up oh. on horseback. Oh. Big deal. <laughs> we climbed this sucker. We did it. Uh. I'm just shocked that you did it so well. Me? Yeah. Huh. The only time she <laughs> fell. The only time she fell is when I went to pull her to help her. And then I pulled her off her footing. That was like, <laughs> not, a, not a good move. For me, I just don't get out guiding as much as I used to anymore. And so when I have these opportunities to be out there with our guests, and no matter what environment it's in, I can see it through their eyes. And that truly is what gives me the energy and the love and desire of what I still do. Scenic Eclipse has arrived at the port of Acajutla in El Salvador. And while guests are treated to a flight seeing tour over the coast, inventory manager Orville is working hard to eliminate food wastage. My storekeeper just updated me that we still have a lot of bananas in our stores, and we're expecting another delivery in Costa Rica. So still have one, two, three, four, five, six. And the top. We are a little bit heavy on the banana, so yeah. we still have a few more days till we get our next loading. So uh, at least we can maybe advise the chef that we are a little bit heavy on it. It will not go to waste. Good morning. Hi, Jed. How are you? Hey, I'm good. Hello, Jed. Good, good. I was in the fridge and I saw there are still five more cases of banana. You think you can make up for something that so we can use it up before the end of the cruise? Yeah, I'll figure something out. Thank you. It now falls to Jed to find a creative solution. 
And as always on Scenic Eclipse, the best place to look is the nearest port. With volcanic and unique rainforest soil, El Salvador is home to rare cacao plants that offer a delicious taste of chocolate. Jed joins guests on an expedition to a local organic cacao farm. This is a very known place for a plantation of a cacao. So right now we're hoping to get a nice quality of cacao. The good thing about being in a cacao farm is that you can pick any cacao when it's ready. We recollect it like this. You have to try it, please. Okay, sure. No. What tastes like? There's a sour like, taste mm -hmm. on it and a bit of creamy. Mm -hmm. That's the flavor that we're looking for. When you try this cacao, uh, you will feel this citric flavor at mm. the end. That's what makes it special. Not just the flavor of the chocolate, but the citric, the sweetness, almost like floral flavors that he has. I'm going to use it as a like chocolate banana dessert ah, as well. Perfect. So it goes. It will just be perfect. nice. Yeah. When a top chef come to our farm and see the quality of our products and understand the complexity of what we're doing, it's always a, a great thing to happen. Back on Scenic Eclipse, Captain Irwan is meeting with the Discovery Team to prepare for their journey through the Chilean fjords and beyond to Antarctica. With the team expanding, it's a chance to meet some new members. Guys, let's have a let's sit over there. OK, so the idea what we wanted to do is just to go through what's ahead of us, particularly in, in Chile. Because uh, I've been there three years ago, uh, we have experienced already uh, some of these places with the uh, scenic eclipse. You'll have a mix, a very big mix of, of tours, particularly in, in Chile. Uh, when you start with uh, Valparaiso, Puerto Montt, Castro, our tours. And then after that, you have Discovery Days with Zodiacs. And then you have again tour in Punta Arenas. So full speed to uh, Puerto Williams. We do one hour the clearance and then we head straight to uh, Ushuaia. So we have time to do all the uh, operations before the next day, which is the start for Antarctica. Yeah. Uh, tell me if you want to add anything on these ones. No, that's that's it. It's glacier, icebergs. You know, be aware of the ice. Mm -hmm. But if we're going to drop, you want to get away from that silt and sediment. So yeah. it makes sense you'll be away from anything. At the end of this voyage, Danny will be heading home. We want to make sure there's a smooth transition. When Boris takes over starting next voyage, he's in the loop on everything. My name's Boris Wise. I'm part of the Discovery team. And we'll be the Discovery leader starting two days. Each day as we go south, we get more and more opportunity to get the Zodiacs out, cruising, icebergs, glaciers, and it's a great push heading toward the Antarctic. We have some new team members coming on board, so we can do some training. So definitely an evolution as we head south with the team. Fantastic. Exciting, huh? Let's go back. Guests are arriving for dinner at Elements Restaurant, where Jed's banana and cacao creation is on the menu. Tonight is the night that I'm going to serve this cacao and banana chocolate tart in Elements. I cannot wait to see uh, how it goes. I hope they enjoy it. More banana tart. Elements, pick up. I have three more orders for the banana tart. Elements, pick up. Show me what El Salvador can do, huh? Yeah? Everybody sure. loves your banana tarts. Oh, great. Here you go, chef. Love the banana. Look at cacao. And El Salvador. Yeah, chef. This is for Bia. I love it. And again, love it too, huh? I know, chef. Good job, huh? Thank you, chef. Well, it's uh, good, really good to hear that he appreciates because uh, that's uh, what we're trying to do, like uh, to satisfy him. Uh, in our job, because he's the one who's like uh, our role model here. Chef Tom is responsible for overseeing the quality of all food and drinks on the ship. 
He's taking a break from the kitchen to challenge bartender Brendan to elevate their onboard cocktail menu. Good afternoon. Tom, how are you doing? Good, mate, and you? Very good. Should we do some new cocktails? Yeah. We can play All around right. with a few things. Yeah? Yeah. Surprise me. I got it. Cool. I got a few ideas. You look confident. I have to be, no? Is it funky? <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So I'm going to use a little crushed basil, tomato water, vodka is my base, balsamic spray. So the guests can say they have some vegetables. Still keeping healthy. <laughs> Looks fancy. This is uh, what I'm talking about. This is liquid food. This is the next level of cocktails. They're going to talk about it. So let's make the next cocktail. Yeah. I'm using a 14-year-old Balvini rum cask, about a quarter ounce beer hearing, cherry liqueur, lime juice. You're watching very intently. It's nice. Now you're going to smoke it? Smoke it. How do you call it? Got milk. And we serve it in a, in a stainless steel mug? Correct. That's kicking. When we have rough sea, we should serve in there, then we don't waste too many glasses. <laughs> no breakage. It's very tasty. Good job. Very good. I think Chef Tom enjoyed the drinks. I think the guests really will enjoy our drinks. We'll just wait and see. <laughs> Any way you feel. I tried it elegantly. <laughs> I like that because I don't like something that's coffee. Very nice, yeah, diff interesting. Yeah, different concept. Yeah. Two thirty a.m. Scenic eclipse is outside the port of Punta Arenas in Costa Rica. The strong tidal waters here mean the local pilot has a delicate task to navigate the ship to shore. Captain, morning. Good 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 morning. There is a lot of current that is just completely a beam here, plus the swell coming from the Pacific. And we can see, you can see that the pilot is, uh, is has a little bit of pressure. Scenic Eclipse is in a bad position against the port. The lines must be removed before they snap. There we go, it's on yeah. that bollard there. We'll need to shift it later. Can you pick it up? Uh, up bridge. Can you shift that spring down? Because we're coming 2-0, two, zero, two, zero stern. We, uh, we didn't like the way the lines would be installed, so we, we moved the lines so they are well balanced between the stern and the spring. And so the, the line is, is long enough. If it's too short, it's going to break with the swell. Now we have to stay nicely alongside of it, okay. which is not the a new challenge starts now. Uh, the, the stronger current will be around 8 o'clock this morning, so that's the perfect time for us to check what is the, uh, the pressure on the ship and the lines, uh, because it will be like this. That will be the worst time of the day. On low tide, the big swell hit the fin and the ship hit the finder. Literally, it's just a scratch, but uh, at this time, it's very, very big damage. As the tide comes in, guests disembark, along with discovery leader Danny and inventory manager Orville, who are homeward bound. But there's still one left behind. Natalie. You all right? Trouble in paradise. Go on. Josh has missed his flight. What? But missed it? Yeah, he's supposed to be here like five hours ago. Josh will be the new Scenic Eclipse cruise director as Amy departs the ship today. But his delay is causing a time crunch for Amy. He's missed his flight, but he's on another one. So I'm going to stay, and then I'm going to quickly show him a quick trip tour. Ideally, I need the whole day to hand over because I've been here for four months, so I've got to try and squeeze four months into a few hours. With just hours to spare, 
the new cruise director finally arrives. Well, I'm really excited to join Scenic as a cruise director. It's a new job for me and a new title. I feel like the challenges in the role is uh, my age. I am quite young, so it's uh, difficult to try and make get some people to respect me. Uh, also, there's a lot of hosting, a lot of socialising, and just commanding an audience as well, which is all a challenge, but I think I'm more than capable of doing. Hi, nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Welcome on board, my lovely. Oh, How are you? I'm good. Tired, but other than that, good. Oh so, I love musical theatre. That's what I'm trained in, and that's what I love to do. But uh, the path that I was following over was to be a, a nuclear engineer. And uh, my mum and dad basically turned around and said, look, if you want to potentially look at doing musical theatre as a job, you better to do it now while you're young. Uh, I then became a singer on cruise ships that I've been doing for the past three and a half years. So this is the lounge. Amazing. This is where a lot of your kind of performing is going to be. Yeah, hey, welcome aboard. Thank yeah. you very much. Hey, Hello, nice lovely to meet you. We've got our Hellion sub gang. Hello, Hello, lovely to meet you. And this is your theatre. Most things are in here. Yep. So like briefings, you've got your shows, uh -huh. your solo cabarets, everything really. So Amazing. it's your time to take over. Thank but you. welcome aboard. Thank Whoops. you very much. Good luck. See you You'll later. Be great. Thank great. you. I'm feeling nervous for him, but he's in for an amazing, an amazing journey. Next time on Maritime Masters, Scenic Eclipse continues its journey to Antarctica, heading south from Costa Rica until they reach the port of Valparaiso in Chile. New cruise director Josh is tested in more ways than one. We're currently trapped in port. The winds are over 15 knots, the seas are too rough, being thrown into the deep end a little bit. Chef Tom continues his quest for onboard culinary excellence. This is a 10 out of 10. I think it's really good. And Scenic Eclipse enters the fabled Chilean fjords.